Hey, welcome to Living the Dream with MS. Today I want to talk about role models, specifically role models about living with the disease and my role model for living with the disease because I really haven't told this story. When I got diagnosed with MS, um, I had given up on a lot of things. I had decided that really I wasn't going to be able to do any kind of exercise. I wasn't going to be able to go out in the heat at all. I wasn't going to be able to manage my pain with anything but pharmaceuticals and that that was just going to be an ongoing problem. I had been doing a lot of reading and a lot of research and I hadn't really found what I was looking for. Uh, but then I started reading a story. And then I started doing more research and getting more information. And I found somebody in the public eye who was living the way that I would hope to live. Uh, this person was a um, former Navy officer, intelligence officer, and uh, television talk show host, Montel Williams. Uh, Montel had had the disease for some time. And there were a few things that he was doing that I had not done because I, I don't know why. Um, the first one is he was avoiding pharmaceuticals as much as possible, and he was using medical marijuana to manage his pain. Now, I had avoided it because I felt on a professional level that it was going to make me dopey and that I wasn't going to... I just had the stoner stereotype in my head. And when I watched Montel on television... And being able to articulate as well as he did, I realized that if he was using marijuana on a daily basis and could still articulate and function day to day as well as he is, then there's no reason that I couldn't do it. Now, I didn't just run with that. I went and did the doctor route and found out everything I needed to find out and talk to a lot of people before I did it. But that was the inspiration. Um, the other thing is the activity. I had really thought that I just wasn't going to be able to do anything, and then I was reading about him and snowboarding and other physical challenges that he does, and that they're not easy for him, but that he found the physical activity to be immensely therapeutic, and specifically what he does with the snowboarding, it helps with his balance and other things. So based on that, I decided that I needed to start pushing the envelope, and that's when I started coaching again and getting more active or active in other outdoor activities, which also helped me link in with my kids, which is something that was very, very important for me. The pharmaceutical piece, again, not necessarily the drugs, but Montel's gone with some other holistic things, and there have been holistic things that I've looked into as well. Not necessarily the same ones, but Reiki has been very helpful for me when it comes to relaxation and pain, pain management as well. Uh, there have been certain supplements that I've taken on and off, rose hips being one of them, um, ginkgo biloba for some of the cognition issues uh, that have been very helpful. So the reason I bring this up is if you're not happy in the disease or anywhere else in life, but if you're not happy in the disease and you see people that are surviving with the disease in the way that you want to, do the research. Find out what they're doing and see if it's appropriate for you. Now, not all things are going to be appropriate for you, and that's what you're going to have to discern, but do the research and find out. And because of that, I do credit Montel and some of his information with being able to function at a much higher level now, later in my disease, than I did earlier in my disease when, quite frankly, I was physically healthier than I am now. So that's what I wanted to share was that little backstory and the value of it. And that's it for today. I'm going to keep living the dream with MS.